We're back at it. On a road trip this time, up to my homeland, North Dakota. We're stopping off at our one of our favorite spots, Spirits Liquor. Incredible, incredible selection. I'm gonna take you along for the ride. <laughs> Here we go. Do you, do you see all of that bourbon? Ooh, look at that. So much pure like double O. For days. I love this display. Right? This here's so the cool. uh, here's the tater snicker. Nice. There's Jeff. Wait, are you kidding? No. <laughs> That's amazing. Nuts. <laughs> oh, this is the owner of this store. That is so cool. <laughs> I love it. It's just a crazy, crazy selection. Just nutty. Oh, these are cool. <laughs> sort of doing the toppers like that. I love it. There's your lucky seven. This is such a nice display you guys have over here. All this bourbon, whiskey. Yeah, and overhead too. We got paint stuff over here too. Seven Hill. Pin hook. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a lot. What are some of these? So what's interesting is, I didn't know this, but it's like each one. So like this is the four year of this same barrel. It's, this is its five year. Same whatever, this is its six year. Oh. And so all these are the same, just four, five, six, and we're gonna take them all the way up to like Look 12, at this one. I think. Minnesota exclusive. Ooh. That's cool. Rye Humor is the horse's name. 116 proof. Oh, what are these? This looks very similar to number seven, or uh, Lucky, Lucky seven. seven, doesn't it? It's got the same label vibe. Yellow rose. You know I love roses. You do. You do indeed. Where's it out of? Texas. Pot stilled in, dist in Texas. Huh. And made from 100% corn. Oh, dang. This one here is made from 100% malted barley in Texas. Wow. Hmm. There's some really cool stuff way up top, too. Yep. I got the Kentucky Owls. Ten Year Keeper's Heart. What's that Kentucky Owl? A limited, limited edition 11 year ride? Interesting. Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras XO casks. What is that? 450. Wow. 450. There's your Jefferson's up there, too. That's cool. It's a good selection of old Doc Swinson. Here's crazy. Ooh, they got the Murray Hill Club, Joseph Magnus. Very cool. The old Forester lineup. Jacob's Pardon. Interesting. Hey, look at the little double oak. Aww. <laughs> All the good wood. 
Birds. Oh, there's the Brighton Ridge. The Port Cask Finish version. You see that? Brighton Ridge Port Cask Finish. Oh. Widow Jane. People are saying this one's a good one. Applewood Rye. Not a bad price point either. This is Ben's favorite. Uh, Templeton. The bottle. It's gotta be this. This is the oh. bottle they changed it to. Okay, he likes this that one. This is the one he likes, the four year. Is it because it's the good stuff? <laughs> Whoa. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Some whistle pig. Lots of it. Look at all this barrel. There's like tons and tons of barrel. Bourbon one. What are they all? Those are like different batches. Private release. 34, Whoa, 35, 04, 28, 33. Look at 121.5 proof. Ooh. Finished in a Tokaji. What? Bear? Tokaji barrel? Yeah. This wow. is a rare bottle. One of our private release series. Carefully selected and blended these whiskeys and finished them in a Kaji barrel for added complexity. It's bottled at cask strength. It sounds good. Cask strength. It's a nice proof on that too. Garrison Brothers. If you like that Texas, holy buckets. This bad boy's 200 bucks. The Balmoria. Yeah. Wow. wow. It's a beautiful bottle. It's a double oaked. Yeah, yeah it's very cool. this guy? The honeydew. Wow. That's cool. They're from Texas, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's just crazy how much there is here. J. Henry. Oh, here's all the vanilla things. Is that the, um... Oh, yeah. The that bootleg from The Bob Dylan one? Yeah. Again, or is yeah, it? sure it is. Wow, that's amazing. Craziness, craziness. Yeah. And you got the uh, blue run. Smoke wagon, twenty minutes. the smoke wagon. Good stuff. Sweater. There it is. Love it. <coughs> How about this? Gem. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. The gem of What's this tatter? So this looks different. Minnesota, yes, but... The five grain. Oh, okay. The five grain husky. Husky. A husky. Innkeeper's blend is supposed to be good as well. With the 2XO. Mm -hmm. But this one's supposed to be the one. Is it? Mm-hmm. Is that one pretty pricey? How much are they? Uh-huh, yes. Yep. Taint Jeep. Taint Jeep. There's so much goodness here. This mm -hmm. bottle. Indictiva whiskey. It's probably... Bit of a concerning name. It's an interesting bottle. Yeah. You know what they say about interesting bottles? What? They do it because it's crappy bourbon. Oh no. Okay, if you've ever had this one, is that true or is this actually delectable? What's with the cap being filled as well? It's, I think it's like a shot or something. Interesting. Here it says, if I passed and were reborn today, a master distiller, I would stay. <laughs> This is a big jug of uh, Old Forester. It really is. 86. Mm. Look at you got some chocolate. Did you see the Jim Beam won the last blind? Really? Dang. This one right here. This little guy. 
except this is a this is a one liter. We only had a seven five, but it won wow. the budget bourbon blind, and I was blown away. That's pretty cray. Is that melon corn? Yeah. There's your old elk. Great selection. And there's literally just so yeah. much. This place is. Ooh, there's a. This would be a cool one to get. An architect selected by spirits. Oh, that would be. Because the architects are normally good, and that one is like a hand selected architect. 110 proof. Complex stave. Mm. So that means when there's staves, that's afterwards, right? Mm, or... I don't think so. You're gonna have your Everybody does it different. Okay. Blueprint for the future of precision blending. Whoa. The next evolution in the series are private builds using different French oak staves and mash bills to create something truly unique. Yeah. Reminds me of what Maker's Mark does. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. We may have to try it. We may. I'll hold on to this one. Cool. Love it. Very good. Lots of good things here. Oh, there's a double oak rye. Pew! Just let us know if this one's good. The double oak rye. 10,000 drops again. Yeah, this is such a cool bottle too. Somebody commented that we gotta try it. Really? Mm-hmm. Fair Bowl, Minnesota. It's just down the street. Neighbors. When we were at Marshall Liquor just the other day, somebody was saying we need to pick up an Amberona finished barrel bourbon. Some people like them and some people don't, so it's kind of a one of those crap shoots. What's the proof on it? 1642. Five year aged. I'm pretty sure it was Amber on it. Dang, now I don't know. What on earth is this? Wow. America's finest spiced cherry whiskey. In an oil can. An this oil is can. literally classic, and I love it. Well, well, well. Estate grown corn. Dang. That's amazing. Oh, what's that way up there? Also, the jams in here. Eagle rare. That really old one? Way up there. Yeah. Yeah. Is it actually Eagle Rare? Yeah, but it's display only. Oh. That's cool. <coughs> Excuse me. That is cool. The old 10 year, back when Eagle Rare was still at 101 proof. This year, the Eagle Rare 17 for VTAC was also 101. People have said that it's the best Eagle Rare 17 that's ever come out. Really? Or for a while, at least. Wow. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And get up here to Spirits Liquor in Melrose, Minnesota, because their bourbon selection, whiskey selection, everything selection is unbeatable. True. Like, just there it all is. It's just nuts, and this is only part of it. So much goodness. Love coming up here whenever we're passing through. It's the best. Peace and love, y'all.